Hey guys, what's up? It's the Midnight Gamer here once again, and we are playing some Celeste with a DualShock controller that does not seem to want to uh, cooperate. Oh, I moved. I'm sorry. Uh, I got the burps too. Uh, I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. I'm going to try... Oh, I can just go straight up. Yeah. Straight up, that way. Down into the... Oh... Guys, I don't know if I can do this one. It's down and to the right. Uh, uh, down and to the right, down and to the right, down and to the right. Down. I forget, you get your dash after you come out of it immediately. That happened faster than I could even process. I didn't mean to do that. What am I doing after I hit that? Am I going back around? This is a really crazy level. Oh, actually, you probably just go straight through it, don't you? Yeah, you do. Because you can grab onto that ledge. Nice. This would be hard enough without the time trial aspect of it. Uh, but no, that uh, she... Maybe for the angled ones, it is better to use the D-pad. But then you have to switch back to the joystick, which I'm already used to. We'll see, we'll see. Because, like, I'm wasting time with stuff like that. I didn't even make the jump. I thought I could do it with my eyes closed. I was like, dude, I've done this so many times already. And I just lost because I did it too early because I was afraid of that thing. I'm sorry? That, that would be cheeky if I could do that. Uh, I know there's not a lot of commentary. I'm just so, oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright. Um, so... I guess I'll just talk about stuff going on in my life right now. Uh, not sad stuff, just stuff while I'm doing this. Um, I play a game called Magic the Gathering, and uh, there is a uh, program called Magic the Gathering Online where you can play with your cards uh, through a really like outdated software, right? So... Um, it was made back in like 2004 or something crazy. It was it's really old, uh, and there's this thing called Vintage Cube on it. There's this thing called Vintage Cube, and uh, it can put it's composed of 540 very powerful cards um, from Magic's history. Okay. Uh, it's, and the the value of, of the, this set of cards is probably over five hundred thousand dollars, right? It's got um, what's known as the Power Nine in it, and the Power Nine consists of Black Lotus, Mox Ruby, Mox Jet, Mox Sapphire, uh, Mox Emerald, Time Twister, Time Walk, and Time something. I don't know. I'm just talking. No, it's fine. This is fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're dumb. You thought you saved it? You're stupid. Well, you, you, you thought, you thought that you could just get away with being cheeky and being good at this game. No. No, you can't get away with being good at this game. You're bad. You're actually trash. You're really bad. 
and I can't even imagine being good at this game. Who in their right mind could be good at this game? I just hit my head twice. That's fine. Uh, so anyways, that cube's very expensive, so I printed them all out on paper, and then I got sleeves for all the cards, and then I... Uh, so I got sleeves for all the cards. I've got a container to put them in, and I'm dead. Uh, and I'm in the process of sleeving them up. So while videos render, uh, I am, oh, I am sleeving up that cube because it is a very new thing to me. Is this a time trial? Because if it is, I quit. Doesn't look to be. That's not at all what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm holding back immediately. Oh, maybe I need to hold back in the thing. Yeah, how do you do that? What? Oh, it's so precise. You have to hit A to get out of it, and then dash up and latch onto that, and then jump down, wall jump three times, land in that. Jesus Christ! Is this the end of the B-side? Because I this is level two. This is chapter two's B-side. What is the end game look like? And I'm dead. <coughs> uh, I don't... Uh, the reaction times need to be so good. And then, okay. So let's think about the button. In, like, it's, it's A, or X for me. X, square, X, really fast. And then square, but pointing up and to the right, like this. And then left bumper. And then you jump off carefully. Okay, so X square X. X square X up left squ up right square. I, d I did exactly that, I just didn't do it. Maybe it's just straight up. Straight up square. Yeah. I literally, as soon as I processed it, I did all of that, and now I'm never going to be able to do it again in the history of my life. Oh, no. I blew it. I blew my one chance. This is where we're going to be forever, guys. Just endlessly hitting X square X. No! I hit X instead of LB. Because, like... It's not like X square circle is uh, the three buttons. Circle and square do the same thing. And uh, triangle and X do the same thing. Actually. B is dash? Or circle? I don't know what feels the best, but I feel like I can work with that, right? I don't know. This is this is just awful though. Cuz I keep thinking LB is dash and I keep hitting the wrong. Okay. Uh, I read an article, I didn't read an article, I lied. Uh, on Reddit there was a screenshot of a article's thumbnail and it was like uh uh, health physicians suggest uh, doing five push-ups every time you die. I would literally be able to one punch Saitama from One Punch Man. I like it. It would. I. I couldn't be beat. I, why do I hit the X and not the left button? If I hit the left button, then I could jump up and down left and right, and then you just win. But no. Oh my God! I hit left button whenever. Is what? Is there another? Okay. Trigger all the triggers. Hold on to the wall. So I'm going to use right button. No, I'm not. I'm going to use left trigger. No, I'm not. 
that left button is probably the best. Okay. I thought I had died sooner, and I had given up. Uh, so apparently Gordon Ramsay's trash at making grilled cheese. I don't know. Uh, he, he made grilled cheese in in a, a conditions where he couldn't control the temperature optimally, burnt the bread, didn't melt the cheese, it was really bad, and everyone made fun of him for it. Um, I'm hitting the wrong button every time. I think once like, my brain memorizes the buttons that's whenever i get good because i hit x wanting to jump but i can't jump in midair right it's it's square so then i do this and then this and then i die right because they put they put friggin spikes on the, the the ceiling the floor the walls anywhere you could fit spikes as a rational human being they put them there and if you dash the wrong way in the stupid blob of death, oh my god. If you dash the wrong way, you're also dead. You're just dead five ways to Sunday. I'm gonna dash, but I dash too early because there's spikes there. Oh gee whiz, and then I didn't hit X in time. Okay, okay. And then, uh, but there, okay, th okay. There was a slight bit of latency there, so it made me think I was dead, when really I wasn't. And then I hit it too early. But I... Um, I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna blame lag or something, I don't know. I'm gonna blame something, clearly I'm, I'm, the, I should have been holding left button. Or left trigger, or right button, or right trigger, any of the four would suffice. I jumped, I jumped and I did. That's fine, that's fine. Easy. Easy. Oh my god. Okay. This isn't something that I can just run into. I'm gonna um, think about this for a second. Sorry, I heard coughing in the background. I wanted to pause my recording. So, I think it's up, right, down, left, up. Alright. I do apologize. There was uh, quite a bit of background noise. Uh, so I, I got up and got myself a, a a little piece, bit of food, still drinking my Lacroix. Don't worry about it. It's fine, cause I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna first try this. I'm gonna first try it. You ready? Okay, I'm not gonna first try it. I don't. Um. I'm trying to go up and right there. Like it's top down oh i can just go up oh oh this is so much easier than i was making it oh well not if i dash This is fine. This is fine. Okay, so I can't hit them while they're traveling there either. This is a really, really weird setup that seems super easy. Because, no, because you just hit the wall there. Maybe maybe you have to go down left and just run through the, the gauntlet again. I forgot to hold down the left button. But I, I'm, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling it. Oh, that was super forgiving. I still messed up because I panicked. But... 
That was a really forgiving. It could have just killed me. Perfect. And the one spot I couldn't have hit, I hit. Yeah, no. It's fine. I'm just holding down right bumper here. Or, uh, sorry, left bumper. Because uh, it just makes it easier to know that I'm going to grab the wall. <laughs> Man. I really just feel like I need to take my time and focus, but I can't because there's an onslaught. And I dash downwards. Yeah, okay, so what I'm seeing is you have to run this gambit twice in a row perfectly. You got time. You got time. No sweat even. How? Once you're up there, you don't... Okay. Okay. I see. I see. You guys are all yelling at me. I know. I'm sorry. there. Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, I know I'm dead. Just let me study this. Uh, wow, I hate it. What? Um, okay, let's, let's go for my original strategy. Up left, up right, because I can't use my dash uh, at all in this first room here, because I have to save it for this. I, I tried to do the A thing. Oh, well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, now, I'll tell you something. I'm not having fun with the B side. Like, the A side was okay. I was, I was having some difficulties, but nothing to this extent. And I, I don't even know what I was looking at there. Cause, like, whenever I see the image, I'm like, okay. What do I do here? But that I didn't even see the image. I was still looking at the top right. I think I'm correct in holding on to that. Also, I think I can dash. Does the... Maybe the spring resets my dash. Let's test it. Not like that. I mean, if I can do it without the dash, why even freaking use the dash, right? Yeah, I, I don't need to use the dash. I, I, I have a strategy without it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're approaching the 20 minute mark here, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a few more attempts uh, and then call it an episode. Because I, I really would like to make it past this part at least. And like, I, f I feel like we're getting close to the end of this B side here. I didn't hit the, the boost. Or maybe we just keep going until it's done. I don't know. I I don't want to to render uh, thirty five minute videos, but maybe.
I, this is the kind of level that does need that that uh, time time whatever the the chick. I feel like this this one would be much easier if I could just take my time with it. Okay. Uh, I've got no one chasing me, so that's a plus. Well, that's... Stop! I feel like you guys see what I'm trying to do. That. Oh my god. Uh-huh. And I just used my boost. Which I don't even know if I need my boost to get to that spring. Is that a different animation for teetering on the ledge? I feel like it was. I... Okay, maybe this level was deceptively simple. Or maybe it's deceptively challenging, I don't know. Because once I hit the spring, I can dash up and to the right. And the controls aren't finicky, I'm finicky. Like right there, I, I was pointing down into the left like I would have been trying to do that. Oh, right, you can't, uh, you, you need the dash to get through the sky. So I need to land better on the spring. <laughs> Uh huh. That's an option. I can, like, jump and then grab there and do that. Easy. <laughs> uh, this one doesn't seem that bad, I don't think. That's the worst part, because it spits you back out with spikes. So you can't do that thing. How in the f what? Do you, like, down into the right it? I would love to be able to test. No. Okay. Well, uh, I think that is uh, enough of that for this episode. This episode actually might have some editing in it because there were some times where I was going quiet trying to do that level. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get one more episode in on this uh, recording. I think my computer can probably handle it. All right. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.